Savage, model 24A, teardown part 5. Um, this is just a short one just to talk about the firing pins. Um, when you go to put your selector switch back in, which is up here, like I talked about in my last video, I'm not sure if this is going to work or not because, like I said, this is, has a rounded face on it, and this one has a flat face on it. I'm sorry, right there. This is the one that broke. This is the one that was there. Anyway, um, when you go to put that back in, you want to make sure that both of these are in, whether you remove them or not during your teardown process. Um, I would recommend at least taking them out and looking at them and making sure they work properly. Um, these screws tend to be messed up from people trying to take them out in the past and not being able to. So just be wary of that. You might have to get a little crafty on how you get those out. But I just wanted to let you know, make sure that both of those are in there before you go ahead and put this back on. Um, here's this completely tore down minus the trigger which I have no reason for taking off, so I'm just going to leave it on there. And uh, the two firing pins, which I just put back in. So, time for reassembly. Um, this is probably the part you guys have all been waiting for. This is the new selector switch installed. So, you can see it down in there. Um, yeah, it works like it should. Um, that's on 410. You can take it and flip it up. Now it is going to fire your 22. All it is is a little screw, which is this guy right here. Pull it out and uh, it was a bit of a pain in the butt trying to get it lined back up, but once I did it just screwed right in. All that work just for that little piece right there. And there it is finally installed after <laughs> two years almost.